In the previous video, we have already taught you how to hack a USB cable of its positive and negative terminals. If you look up closely, there are red and black wires. They refer to the positive and negative terminals respectively. This time, we are going to use a breadboard so that we can have a parallel strip of positive and negative sources of electricity. If you are new to Natech of Cebu, just hit the subscribe button for free. Now that we have connected the positive and negative terminals on two different electric lines, I'll show to you what it really means to use a breadboard. You have noticed that the orange and purple wires have been separated into black and white wires of their own. If we are going to go back to the source of power, you have noticed that the purple wire refers to the negative terminal while the orange one refers to the positive terminal. The purpose of that is to use a stereophonic potentiometer where one side will be for forward while the other one will be backward. Speaking about those black and white wires that come from two different sources of orange and violet, which refer to the positive and t negative terminals respectively, you have noticed that the potentiometer has both white wires on one side and black wires on the other side. That means that the direction will matter depending on where you turn the potentiometer's knob, whether it's forward or backward. A potentiometer is a variable resistor. This type of potentiometer is stereophonic because it has a front and a back panel. This stereophonic potentiometer is normally used in audio systems where you simultaneously adjust the left and right speakers of the same volume or noise level. Or, in the case of balancing the sound levels, where one speaker would be louder than the other, the front potentiometer will be for making the left speaker louder, while the back potentiometer will be for making the right speaker louder. If it's in between the most extremes, in the middle of it, both speakers would have the same loudness on a stereophonic sound system. But in this example, I will explain to you what are those yellow and green wires. They're intended for determining the direction of the electric current. At some point, the yellow wire is connected to the blue one, while the green one is connected to the black wire. And if we go furthermore about this wiring diagram, you now have blue and black wires. All throughout, the blue wires connect extensively towards the portable fans terminal, the positive terminal. Meanwhile, the black wire has been connected to a short white wire followed by a gray one. This leads to the negative terminal of the portable fan. When you put the potentiometer in its central position, the fan blade won't rotate at all because both currents are of the same speed of the same rate. Neither one is dominant over the other. When the blue wire is more powerful than the gray one, the positive terminal is stronger than the negative one, this portable fan would spin counterclockwise. On the other hand, 
If the gray wire has more current than the blue one, the portable fan would spin in the opposite direction, clockwise. Now, let's connect the USB cable towards the power bank. It's already connected. And then let's go back to the potentiometer to prove to you that by using a stereophonic version, you'll be able to manipulate the speed of the portable fan blade as well as, as its direction. Let's spin the potentiometer counterclockwise and see what happens. The power bank has to be turned on again. And then spin counterclockwise. The portable fan also spins in the same direction. Likewise, if we spin it to the extreme in the other side, it would reverse its direction. Now you see that the potentiometer has the ability to manipulate not only the direction but also the speed of the fan blade. Then we return it to the central position. The portable fan stops spinning. Then we'll return it to its normal operation in counterclockwise spin. I hope you find this video enjoyable to watch as I show to you what a stereophonic potentiometer can do to a portable fan.